Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, ay. Sugar beat. Welcome to the network. Yo, 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 what's poppin' squad? You already know what it is, man. Welcome to the dope bar. It's your boy Blaze Hunter, Blaze Art Radio Signature Series Network in the building. And y'all know we got a regular in the building right now, man. It's the homie Flavor Hype. What's poppin', my G? <laughs> yo, what's up, man? It's about time. I've been woo. We've been back and forth trying to get this thing started, but yeah, finally in the building, finally here. Yeah, yeah bro, it, t- it took forever, bro. But um, hey, I don't better late than never, though. <laughs> facts, bro, big facts. I I I ain't even gonna hold you, but that in- that my new intro kind of fresh. You feel me? I gotta look at it one more time. I like the way your picture come in and everything. Hold on one more time. I just gotta uh, play it, that it, play it's one more fly. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing hard. Hey, hey, Sugar welcome to the network. Yeah, yeah, that thing kind of fly. That the, the intro kind of fly. <laughs> <on the board. laughs> definitely, definitely. You already know, man. We had the dope bar. You know, I always got to have me some type of drink, so you know it's gonna be the coffee today. It's the slurpage. You know what I'm saying? Are you sipping on that? Okay, okay. You know, sipping that, on the slurpage. You feel me? Uh, same one from the uh, the radio show, right? The yeah, podcast, yeah, from right? the morning from the morning show, baby. Y'all know it's that morning steel, show, the morning that show. steel bridge coffee. You feel me? That's that www. Oh, yeah. steelbridgecoffee dot com. If y'all want something yourself, yeah, but it's it's potent and it's good. Quick little plug for him. Quick plug for him. Yeah, come on, got to, <laughs> got to. Bro. How you been, bro? I've uh, been good, man. You know the deal. Though. I've been busy. Uh, work is work is work, and uh, trying to maintain. Yeah. Of course, bill, bills don't stop, so I, I can't. Yeah, hey, yeah, Bill. Everything, um, everything jumping up expensive. But food and got crazy, bro. Man, oh my goodness. I, I, I might just stop eating. <laughs> I mean, I don't see the point. I don't see the point anymore. I'm gonna <laughs> survive off of cosmic energy and, <laughs> and see where it takes me. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, and water, of course. <laughs> Cosmic energy and water. You gotta hydrate. Just go stop eating. I can't even do it. Stop. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I can't pay my food bill this month. <laughs> yeah, bro, man. Uh, so other than that, though. Yeah. Yeah, just, man. Just and still making moves with some 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 music moves. Trying to move forward with that. Uh, other facets of entertainment, if you will. Just kind of reaching yeah. out, branching out, trying to see who I could reach. Yeah, so I, I want to talk about the you know the clothing brand right now. So anybody that's been paying attention to that flavor hype uh, social media, you see a lot of people rocking the merch, the hoodies, the hats. You know what I'm saying? So how how is that feeling it's when up. it comes to the merch? The, it was the feeling is crazy because I never thought that um, you know growing up me not being a, a big name or big brand or anything. I didn't know I had the support from like all over that, that people would show me. And so it's surprising, humbling, and such a huge blessing that I would receive so much respect. Yeah. Um, and so it, it, it war- I get the warm fuzzies, yeah, for real. And so I didn't even know how many people were actually ordering because I don't necessarily like do it all myself. Yeah. Uh, I have someone who works with me for it, kind of came up with the idea and started producing the stuff. And when I said, well, you know, I got to, you know, it's a couple of people that, that really support me. And then she was like, um, I don't think you realize how many people actually really go out and buy. Because that, like, when you first dropped it, I was getting order after order after order after order. I'm like, yeah, really? And uh, a quick shout out to Daniela Bennett. I, I call her Dirty because she lives in Georgia. So Dirty South. <laughs> Dirty South. Let's get it. Um, she, she, yeah, she's a friend of mine, actually an old battle buddy of mine from, from the military. I met her um, during uh, basic training or AIT. Yeah. And we've just been cool ever since. And so she helped produce that whole thing and kind of ship it out and put it out to the masses. She's still doing it now. So a big shout out to her. Um, so I just thank you. I just want to give her give her some love on that as well. That's so, yeah, it's, up, it's been It's been crazy um, just kind of seeing it. Other people buying it, saying, you know, started that uh, web page for people to go on and, and look at and look up the merch, suggest uh, particular items. Yeah. And if the item is feasible, she she made it happen and started shipping it out to people. So it's just crazy. And the amount of love is just is, is unreal. 
That's dope, bro. And did you uh did you expect um to to have the sleeper agents, if you will? <laughs> that's what that's what I call them. It's some sleeper agents. You feel you be doing a bunch sleeper of stuff agents. and be like you be like, don't nobody support, but when when it come down to it, with it when it's clutch time, you feel me? They come through. Exactly. I had no idea. I have so many sixth men coming off the bench lighting it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, where'd you come from? I, I didn't know you could do this and be willing to help. It. Like, yeah. So it, it's all about tapping into the resource, but you got to look yeah. like let them know you're doing something. And so once yeah. I did that, they were like, hey, um, I can do this. I can help you with that. Even people that kind of do the same thing, they were like, I can do that too. I can do that too. I was like, well, yeah. I, I didn't know. But, you know, just to know that they're available to do some things to help is, is, is huge because every artist, I don't care who you are, everybody's going to have to have someone kind of be there to navigate some of the yeah. stuff you're doing. Yeah, if, yeah. if you can do everything yourself, you probably didn't start off doing everything yourself. Facts. And trust me, nobody wants to do everything themselves. Speaking for someone who did a long time doing everything themselves, it ain't fun. You, you get is yeah, in one like, sense, it's like, oh, I'm glad that I know how to do it and got it done. Right. But, mm-hmm. but yo, that nobody wants to. You feel me? Nobody. Yeah. But what yeah, I the uh, whole time doing it is just yeah. Trust me, I I know. <laughs> I definitely know. <laughs> Yeah, so so what uh, I want to dive into before we dive into anything else is I want to talk about that military background. Like, how did that even get started? Like, what what, what was the first <laughs> thought of that you had joining in and the steps to join it? The first thought was actually, hell no, nah, I ain't doing that. That was really the first <laughs> thought. <laughs> It really, it was more like, um, but, you know, you you hear those horror stories about just sergeants and army and them, yeah. you know, going out. And it's basically from like movies and just people talking yeah. about it. So, oh, they 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 take you out in the woods and beat you up and all, and you can't do anything about. It. I'm like, uh, uh-uh, nah, but I'm good. I'll do jury duty or something. You ain't, you ain't gotta, gotta, that's how I <laughs> serve the country. But um, <laughs> is it? I got uh in in high school. You know, you take the test and. You know, I guess if you score well or whatever, they'll. Oh, let me readjust this. Yeah. There we go. They'll uh, they'll come looking at you like, "Hey, you scored high. You ever thought about army?" I'm like, mm, "No, not really. It's not really my thing." But um, a couple of people kind of came to me and asked me about it. This was while I was in high school. So years yeah. afterwards, I was talking to a friend of mine who was thinking about joining, and um, he said ever thought about it because like any job in the civilian world they basically have it in the army i'm like uh, i don't know but going through all that basic training all that's still in my head like i don't want people yeah. yelling at me just if i, if yeah. I make a mistake don't <laughs> don't punch me in the chest <laughs> so um but you know he told me why well, i keep doing that he, he said just give it a shot and just talk to my recruiter i was like all right i'll go talk to him so i was thinking about doing the nursing thing because I, I was hearing that nursing, especially male nurses, and yeah. you get into travel nursing. Male travel nurses are way up here as far as you know the ability, the potential to earn so much money and be able to you know see other parts of the country because they'll pay for everything. And yeah, it, you'd, you'd be a, a hot commodity because of that because there aren't many of them. So I was like, damn, let me let me do that. I said, how about nursing? You said, yeah, nursing is you can do that. I said, cool, and they'll pay you to learn. I'm like, well, that's that's hot. So I went yeah. to talk to a recruiter, and um, next thing you know, I was signing papers. I'm like, wait, how did we get here? But, <laughs> do you work for Diddy? No, no, no I'm, just, I'm just playing. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that? I should do it. Oh, Diddy, man. sorry. I, it was just a joke. Just a joke. Um, but now, nah, so I'll just sign the papers, and then I got into it, and, and it was actually the best decision of my life because I never knew that. Um, I guess the experience, and I needed that actual structure. Yeah, because I didn't really have as much discipline. I didn't have much structure, but I needed that. And once I got that, and basic training was easy. 
yeah for me because of my attitude is based off of i mean it's maturity but just understanding you don't really get in trouble if you don't argue with them but people want to argue with them yeah like, yeah just shut the hell up you, <laughs> bro, they tell you what I, to do, and you do it. <laughs> bro, I, I I got, bro, I got four siblings, so coming, I'm the oldest. But when we were coming up, my both my brothers, even even my sister, they they be getting in dumb trouble. They always got this thing, oh, Blaze is the favorite. You want to know why? Because I just shut up. <laughs> I'm like, y'all got the same mama I got. She crazy. <laughs> Sorry, mama. I just gotta let the world know. She's crazy. I'm even even if I know I'm one hundred percent wrong. Or I'm right and she wrong. Still, yes, ma'am. Yes, mom. Oh That's my it. goodness! They want to fight and argue. I'm like you, never, it's like the, the NBA players arguing with the refs. You ain't gonna See, win. Like, yep. <laughs> the call's already made. It's, it's over with. I'm telling you, boy. Just play defense. That's it. <laughs> the brother under me was Rasheed Wallace. The one under him was Draymond Green. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, y'all just gonna just keep get getting teed, teed up. <laughs> I'm straight. Oh snap! So oh, you said goodness. you had said um, that it gave you some some structure and discipline. So um, let's mm. dive into few years before that when you weren't so structured or disciplined what 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 is an unstructured and disciplined flavor hype look like because me i can't even imagine it from knowing who who you are and who you've been since i've known you it's like i couldn't even yeah. imagine it so explain okay really now I, I i'll tell you this i was actually uh born and raised in San Francisco, California. So I'm from the West Coast there. That's where I get my roots from. But I spent most of my life and all of my adult life in Montgomery, Alabama. So I moved out there when I was 15. So I say that I have West Coast roots for Dirty South Boots. Let's go. That's kind of my thing. I kind of put that out there. Yeah. Now, the unstructured came from just kind of wilding out in California because it's, it's, it's different on the West Coast than yeah. it is in the South. I don't mean to cut you off. That's a dope yeah. album name. Just, I don't mean to cut you off. That's a dope album name right there. You need to use that, bro. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I, 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 got, I got the hoodie. I got the, the hoodie with that on there. It's a globe, Perfect. and it says uh, there's a pin drop in California and a pin drop in Alabama. It says West Coast Roots, Dirty South Boot. Bro, but that's, we, that, that's 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 a little later on. That's a little later. We'll probably come up with something else for that. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. do something with it. I have to. I ain't even yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, for real. Okay, continue. My bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, it's good. Um, so as wild and wide open as it is in the West Coast, you know, California on that side, I couldn't really do that down south because everything is so conservative. And yeah. I would be, um, I would stand out like a sore thumb. I'm already like 6'6", six, six, so I kind of stand out anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> so the unstructured was just me just kind of wilding a little bit. I didn't really go over the top with things, but it's just to the people around here, yeah, it was wild. And so the undisciplined, the, the structure that I needed was really just how to focus on certain things, channel that that energy into yeah. something that's constructive. Yeah. And, and I was just, you know, I was kind of all over the place with things, but once you kind of settled into, hey, focus on this, finish this, and move on to that, because I'd just be scatterbrained. Have a lot of yeah. oh, do this, oh, do that, do that, squirrel. You know, just all. I'm still kind of squirrel, but uh, <laughs> at times I, I can I can reel it in and make that squirrel go down that tunnel right there. <laughs> yeah. So it, it was just about reeling certain things in and um, being more structured from a maturity level. Got you. And as and like I said, when I joined the military, I was a little older than most of the people there. And uh, so that my maturity kind of showed, and I was like, "Y'all just shut up." Yeah, it, it, it don't make it doesn't make sense to argue now because I, I get how it is the, the thoughts of I'm right, so you should just listen, drill sergeant. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> not how the hell it goes. It doesn't matter whether you're right or not. There was a a, a real quick example. You know, we're like in uh, in the line to eat, like child. Like you're not supposed to be talking. You're supposed to stand there, your eyes this way. Go to the mm -hmm. line, get your food, sit down, eat, shut up, get out yep. there, whatever you need to do. 
So you standing in line, everyone's kind of it's kind of close together. So they got to pack all those people in and get them all fed. Yeah. Now, if you're kind of close, if you're not really paying as close attention as you think you should be, when you walk a little bit, you might bump into someone. It's not the biggest deal. Okay, you bump into them, or you might step on someone's shoe or something. Like, all, right, all right, cool. You, you got me. You got me. Yeah. One person um, got stepped on. It was like, hey, 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 watch out, man! Kind of stepped on my foot. And then the other dude was like, oh, you know, whatever. But the drill sergeant sitting there looking the whole time. They see those two people talking automatically. Mm-hmm. What what you talking? What you talking about? You're not supposed to be talking. You're supposed to be your eyes front and you shut up. And the person was like, nah, I was just saying he, he stepped on my shoe. <laughs> you, don't talk back to the, I know. I know you're trying to defend yourself. You might be yeah. right saying that he uh-huh. stepped on my foot. But as soon as you say something to them, you are wrong, no matter yep. what. Because yep. you can say, the sky is blue. Wrong. It's not. I said, there is no sky. If they say there is no sky, there's no sky. If it eliminates sky, there's no vocabulary. <laughs> but, you know, like you just saying, you could be right yeah. in what you're saying, but you're wrong for why you said anything or the fact that exactly. you said something to them. And Same our command. drill sergeant was like, after we got through, he was explaining to the whole group, like, look, you might be right with what you're saying. You could bump into someone and say, excuse me, but you're talking. Come on. If the drill sergeant sees that and tells you, be quiet, just be quiet. Don't try that's, to defend yourself in that moment. That's it's it. It's never going to go well. I'm telling you, it's that's it. Now they'd be like a happy take, wife. Ha- just take, that, like, ha- take that L. Take Come that. on. Take it. Now they'd be like happy <laughs> wife, happy life, or happy girl, happy world. I came up with happy mama. Ain't no drama. You feel me? You good. Oh, <laughs> you, you could. <laughs> on, <laughs> what? On that note, oh, y'all know we gotta, y'all know we gotta pay bills, man. We're gonna go to commercial break real quick. Y'all know what time it is, man. This is we welcome to the dope bar. We got flavor hype in the building. You feel me? Let's go into the commercial. Yeah. Break. Yo, 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 welcome back. Welcome back to the dope bar. You already know who it is. It's your boy Blaze Hunter. We got flavor hype in the building. Renegades. Renegades, baby. Okay. Yeah, bro. Man, that was hot. That was hot. But yeah, good. Oof. I can't yeah. wait. Oh, you, I can't wait. So, I yeah. can't wait, bro. <laughs> I can't wait. You feel me? So so what what were the what type of uh uh, like in your childhood, like uh, and even even now, then just childhood and now, even now, like what are the things that you you look at when you at the crib? Ain't nothing else to do. TV on. What is flavor hype watching? Uh, I'm not a lot of uh old comedies and and, and like from um, shoot, I go to. Actually, like what I'm doing now, watching my wife and kids. Yeah. Oh, um, you watching those sitcoms? Uh, yeah, those sitcoms. Yep, yep, yep. Um, love those. Uh, home Improvement. You know, just yeah. From, yeah. from when I was uh, younger, kind of watched them growing up. And I know yeah. <clears throat> Netflix is going to have Martin on. Uh, they, it's coming. This, they're going to start streaming Martin. So I'm definitely oh, going to be on that. Netflix about to make money. <laughs> <laughs> they already make a money, but what are they about to have Martin? Yeah, they, yo. They, they gonna have ooh, and I'm like, yo. I think I think it's Netflix. If I'm not mistaken, it is Netflix. But yo, boy, in any case, deal. whatever it is, I'm gonna be watching it. That's a deal in a half. That right there is crazy. Yeah. Um, freaking, I, I ain't even gonna hold you. Um, 
uh there's the show um with Mike Epps and um uh Mike Epps and uh Wanda Sykes uh the what is it called? What is it called? I can't well, I can't think of the name of it right the, now. Uh, Upshaw. Upshaw, bro. Like I've been I've been on this yeah. thing where I'm like, oh, I'm just ain't um I, I I've kind of I've been stubborn and not wanting to look at other newer new age sitcoms i'm like I, I i like what sitcoms were for me i don't feel like i took a chance with one yeah, of the tyler yeah, perry shows that. and it wasn't all that and i'm like ah and then i took a chance on one of the uh, tia tamir the, the sisters i'm like ah. but the upshaws bro <laughs> yo let's <laughs> go have you if, you if you ain't seen it it's gonna have you dying you feel me yeah yeah but yeah i'm the I same way with the classic i'm the same way with the classic yeah and that uh, could it, be, I guess, the nostalgia. Yes. It, 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 it's difficult to get, get away from that because you remember how it was the first time seeing it. It was like, oh, this is something new. Watching yeah, Martin was epic. We we know what it did for the culture. But even some of the, the newer stuff you talk about now, I think I've seen a couple of episodes of the Upshaws. I never really got back into it. It wasn't yeah. bad. It's just yeah. I just kind of yeah. you know did some other things and all that. But, um, yeah, I, I do need to now. I got to focus in on that. Yeah, definitely do. Yeah, it's just it's a different day when it comes to uh to entertainment. And it's like um and before I always get into this type of topic, I always want to look right into the camera, let everybody know. Um, it don't matter if you Dominican, uh, don't matter if you black, white, don't matter if you liberal, don't matter if you Democrat or Republican, don't matter if you gay or straight. All I'm saying is I, that's y'all business. You don't you don't rob me, I won't have to hurt you. That's all. That's it. I, I, I equally love everybody. Now, with that being said, um, you know, with the power and the, you know, the 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 popularity of you know the LBGTQ community, they just mm. throw it in all of the shows now, and um, and and it's like, and 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 in one sense, it's like, well, that's life today. So I mean, I get it. Yeah. I just don't like it in the in the kid shows. You know, like they. I know, you know, I, I'm. I know the guy who yeah. did does the Proud Family or whatever. Cool dude, you mm -hmm. feel me? So just watching the show, so I was like the reboot. I'm like, oh, it's good, but they got a bunch of them characters in there, and it's like ah, for the kids though. But in one sense, it's in their schools. That's what it is. It's like not, you know. But it's just right, like, right, yeah. <sighs> I just, I don't know. It's just, I just feel like certain things just need to stay away from the kids, you know, and if adults want to make them decisions, do that. But I just, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's for me. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if they should, I, I think to that note, one thing that might help if they were to let everyone know this show contains elements of that, that yeah. might help just to kind of help filter out some of it. If the parents, are not really wanting to expose exactly. that to their kids mm -hmm. just just yet. If they say, mm -hmm. you know, just because they got a like a TV rating, like you know, it might be TV fourteen yeah. or PG fourteen, or whatever it is. If they say elements of this, 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 this on there, yeah, I know there's been arguments. Just to let them there's, know, just so they're aware. There's been arguments on that though. There's been a, an uproar of people who are like, oh, uh, they, they shouldn't. That's discrimination. So why why should we be a pre warning and da 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 da? So they just chose to leave it alone. Yeah, no, no, oh, I get it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I just and, and not even just them and not even just that. I just I just don't like how sensitive the the world is is gotten. Everything has gotten so sensitive. It's like and like. It, like I, I just looking at old comedies and just old things. People, people, and you could say. No, it wouldn't fly that, now. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, N not none of it. And it, it's just certain. I, and like I get in certain things. Like for example, I'll use like we, we used to be like, oh no, that's gay. Gay don't necessarily mean homosexual. <laughs> you know what I'm no, saying? Not at all. Or we, like, just say like that. bro, that thing, bro, that's that's retarded right there. And just even saying that is like but now because of how sensitive people are to special needs kids and i get it i understand you know i understand but it's like i just like you should but when you know the context don't take it out of context you know what i'm saying it's like that's, that's, that's what basically that's what all it is 
Yeah, but I feel like we just living in a, a sensitive a society where they just they want that. But then it's so everything is so backwards because the more sensitive the world's got, the more the less censored entertainment has gotten too. Like you don't even they don't even bleep out cuss words on <laughs> on TV channels no more. I remember I was watching Blue Streak the other day, and I was just like I was mm. waiting for anytime oh, okay. Martin would naturally say a cuss word, they do the, the dub voiceover. Nope. All the cuss words still in the town. I'm like, I'm, I'm watching this on USA Network. <laughs> but it's, USA, oh, they're no, they were notorious for. You couldn't, uh, say, uh, you couldn't even say the the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, they, if, if it was like, oh, I'm gonna kick your, they'd be like, I'm gonna kick your butt, and a whole another person. <laughs> but 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 <laughs> it wouldn't even be the same person. <laughs> uh, Martin didn't say that. That sounded like Gina. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so it's, it's so backwards to me where it's like it has gotten so less censored but more sensitive. It's like the, the math don't be yeah. mathing to me. It's like make up your mind. Y'all can't nah, keep the same real. energy all the way around. Uh, thank you. That's what I've been, you know, if you're going to do it, okay, I get it, but make sure it's consistent. Man, exactly. That consistency is killing me. Exactly. I got um, another yeah. another question I got I got for you with you being in uh-huh. the in the military because you know I know a good amount of people um that and not even just the, not even just the uh, on subject on topic of the military it could be for like Christmas spirituality there are those certain people that are like oh I'm not going to uh celebrate Christmas I'm not standing for the flag I'm not doing there's a lot of people that have their things because of all the evils and all the bads obviously that that have, that mm-hmm. have happened in that world too now I'll say okay. me personally you know my boy shout out to my homie Casper um you know uh you know my boy Christo like they, they served in you know the, the military one in the navy one in the army so anytime you know I okay. Okay. stand up you know if, if national anthem whatever I'm I'm on it because of the fact they fought for this. You feel me? So, so I never got a chance to talk to someone who's actually served and been uh, in the military some way, shape, or form. So, so what are your feelings toward um, just that in general when it comes to the whole fighting for the fighting for your country? People say you know America is a business and it's not really like. What is your thoughts on that whole thing? Ooh. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that's yeah. uh, take a sip on that one. one. Take a sip on that one. Some of this, this is uh, uh warm yes, oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> um, dang, the bit see, so much of it is it, it's run like a business, it has so many business elements because of the way that things are structured, and yeah. a lot of people don't tend to. Uh, kind of tough for me to say. Care as much about the people as to do about the money that they're. Mm. Sorry, quick a little bit. Yeah. Um, the money aspect is such a huge deal, so a huge influence for almost everything that we do, and it does suck. It's just a fact of life, though. Yeah. So when you get into, um, it's like the, that bottom line. We all know that bottom line means money. <laughs> that yeah. bottom line gets affected. That's when people start making changes. Whether it's yeah, um, people because even they started to include people in certain things like we kind of talked about before the the different communities. We're in, we're including the communities, and I don't think that it's really. I mean, sure, it's cool that they have a voice, but we just don't want to lose money from that community. So that's why yeah. we started to do certain things a certain way. Yeah, um, and it wasn't that it wasn't really the case before. Now, yeah. to your point, as far as people doing things and, and the 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 whole business aspect of it i mean yeah because it's the society and, and we've been like that but even other countries are we're just more blatant yeah. about how we do it yeah yeah um and it's obvious because you know we're always talking about first of all you hear about it in the rap music most of them talking about money 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 yep. money 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 yep. and you got yep. one of the biggest stars in entertainment and uh, boxing floyd money mayweather his yep. whole thing is money, 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 money. Same thing with <laughs> cash, money, millionaires, money, money. <laughs> but yep. because of that, money gets thrown around so much. That's that's really what people are seeing, and so yep. we get influenced by that. 
that's a huge push as far as I need to do this so that way I don't affect money. And then you yeah. start learning about business, the business side of everything. Yeah. Um, it takes away from the human side, the human yeah. element. And that's once we start dehumanizing so many things, it, it, it's it, it's a wrap because you don't really you don't, can't really go back because people are going to say, well, how's that really going to make me money? Exactly. Yeah, it's it's, you it's know, crazy. You got people here. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's crazy because it's like to me, everything could be like being corrupted by it just depends on who the person is like AI. Like there's a lot of good in AI if used correctly, but there's a lot of bad in AI if used incorrectly. You know, like there are people who are mimicking like me, like somebody really mimic the hell out of me i got so much you know with interviews and rap songs and da, 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 like wow. out there so it'd be easy to mimic my voice like um one of the things that i do for engineering and you know for my for book jams and we use audio voices with different voices or whatnot so i could make the ai mimic a voice learn learn that voice oh, and God. you know what i mean and, and, and do that type of thing just for practice to work with it i did a um a, a jay-z and freaking uh the kanye song the ninjas in paris and i made them mm. big in big in pop you wouldn't even you wouldn't even know that it it wasn't them wow. I, I show you better than i can tell you <laughs> See it. That's see if it, crazy. Yeah, bro. Hold up. Let me see if it, this. will uh, play this right quick. Hold up. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, it's it, it's so crazy, bro. It's it's so crazy. I'm gonna try to fast forward a little bit. That's big as Jay Z. All right, I'm gonna fast forward to Kanye being uh, uh Tupac wow. being Kanye. Wow. And that's that's Pockets Kanye. You know what I'm saying? It it it. It's it's crazy, so yeah yeah. So like AI could be used for a lot of different different things. There, I remember my uh, my I was getting hit up by somebody, um, uh, magazine company or whatever, and I was on video chat with the, with the person. So the video so it started out maybe fifteen seconds into the conversation. The, phone called so wrote me back my bad storming out here real bad blah 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 whatever called me okay so talking having the conversation and i'm just noticing his back window is sunny outside but he just told me it was storming hmm. and he's not moving he's doing like so i'm just looking real close for any and then i start seeing the glitches by the neck and I'm like, I'm talking to an AI right now, bro. That's not even who this. Oh. Gone. You know what I'm saying? And then I went to go. You, when you when somebody hits you up claiming to be somebody of importance, you can go to LinkedIn and find that real person. So I went to LinkedIn. I'm like, this is a whole white dude. Whoever I'm talking to. Yeah, bro. So that was a gem right there. I just gave y'all. You feel me? Any of these okay. big companies hit yeah. you up thinking, oh, I'm this person, I'm the, the CEO of this, go to LinkedIn. Most nine times out of ten, they got a LinkedIn account. But yeah, bro, it's it's crazy. So with, with the country, is the same way. I feel like there are good people in the country just like there are corrupt people. Um, with, with law enforcement, there are good people, they're bad in school system, they're horrible teachers, and they're great yeah. ones. That's what it is. The mm -hmm. world is filled with good and evil, bro, and I'm just happy be the good side Damn. hey that's what's up always <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm going i'm gonna do but really it's, it's that balance you, you, you can't yeah like you can you can have one without the other but you wouldn't be able to understand and discern the differences if yeah, it was exactly. all bad you wouldn't know what was good if it was all good you wouldn't know what was bad it kind of yeah. has to be there to balance out that that yin has to be with that yang 
but you know. Yeah, bro, it got to be. And, and it's those things right there, it's, the, it's right there that gives me the to that belief to know, all right, like when the people have the debate or if God's real or if he is, that's what shows me that God's real because the there the whole purpose of being of having morality, you know, because that's God's that's His law that He did for us to be moral. And if He didn't exist, why be moral? Like for, when Hitler killed all them people, it was like who was who was to say Hitler was or Hitler believed he was right? You feel me? If there is no God and there is no yeah. morality. Is Hitler wrong? Where where is that? You know what I'm saying? Why, why exactly. aren't we? Where, where's the that? barometer? <laughs> it, it, exactly. So there has to be a reason to be moral, but you know that's not the here nor there. There's a whole another conversation. So yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what what do we got to look forward to the rest of 2024 for Flavor Hype? Oh man, we're gonna have. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, I'm putting the <coughs> I'm putting the EP to the side and I'm gonna okay. release a full length LP. Let's go. And I'm working on that. I'm making sure that everything is pieced together on the music side how I want it to be. Uh, I'm gonna put forth a strategy utilizing that guy right there, Mr. Blaze Hunter himself. This is what, he, this is what he's work. utilizing, y'all. This is what he's. Utilizing. Yeah! What? 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 Yeah! What? 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 Yeah! All right, my bad. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That beat's that beat's available, by the way. You feel me? That beat's available, by the way. Just saying, but you know, it's not okay, here. Okay. Not there. But yeah, yeah. So you're gonna have yeah. a strategy. Using that, using those points, I'm delegating some of what I have to do. We talked, touched on that a little bit earlier. Yeah, the team and that that team is vital. Yes, um, there's so much more that you are able to do and able to free yourself up from if you have other people in place that can assist and take some of the weight off, take some of those yes. things off your plate. You don't have to eat every single thing on there. You can have someone else to eat it as long as that plate stays light enough for you to carry around with you. You can do mm-hmm. amazing things with it. Facts. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Uh, I do plan on getting into some more. You mentioned the merch. I, I kind of have an idea for some clothing, other types of clothing I want to get into. Yeah. Now, I just kind of starting it. I'm not sure that this year will actually be much for it because I want to push the music out there and make sure that I get my name out there and um, yeah, get seen and get some traction with all that before anything else. Works. Cause I want to put too many things on my plate. I want to have my hands and and too many uh too many pots yeah that uh i would like to get into some of the uh other forms of entertainment as far as acting i, I was yeah. doing that a while back i kind of want to get back into it because there are a few opportunities that may present themselves to me so i want yeah. to make sure that i take advantage of that one of those being man i'm gonna I'm I'm what you have going on that whole yes. renegade thing looks so sick i'm Yo. gonna try to see if i can get a piece of it if, if, even if i'm not in there like hey i yeah. could be the guy walking down the street <laughs> i could hey, you, you are to look like an action number star, two or something. <laughs> straight <laughs> I mean, up I'm, I'm gonna try to try to try to get myself back into the uh the acting group try to uh, get my face out there doing some shows some um performances yes sir so i can so i can get out there people can see my face in different areas different cities maybe some different states yeah oh i also have some Another genre I'm going to be tackling, uh, which is Southern Soul. Let's go. A friend of mine hit me up, asked me what I what what my interest level would be in doing like some Southern Soul rap, Southern Soul hip hop. I'm like, you know what? It'll just be something I'm adding to the repertoire. I'm not taking anything away from what I'm doing now, I'm just adding to it. So why not tackle another genre as well? Straight get those up. fans in, get eyes on that as far as that goes, and they can cross over and um be included in and be exposed to what I'm doing on the on the, the hip hop side. Why not? Come on. Real talk. So does that. So very and last thing. Yeah. Very last thing. Um so what does 
Flavor Height mean to you? Well, it's a variety of things. It's really, uh, there's so many different flavors. I, I don't want to be caught into one thing. Yes. I try to be extremely versatile with, with what I can at least attempt to do. I kind of have a plethora of different facets that I can go into. Like I mentioned before, yeah. uh, it, now when I was younger, there was a little bit more energy and I was able to do a lot more, but it was, you know, I, I used to do, I don't really do it now, but like R&B. So I was singing, yeah. rapping, acting, <clears throat> writing performing um just and being a hype man which is kind of a, a different yeah. little lane but yeah just just those types of things i really wanted to get into all that and and stay there because i didn't want to just stay uh, he just does this kind of, even if it's just rap he just yeah. does this kind of rap like i'm not going to be um pigeonholed into one genre but i've yeah. done so many different types of, of rap before and so flavor is just there like 32 flavors of ice cream or something like that. Baskin Robbins, I think it was 32. Yeah. I'm trying to get like that. I love um, it. And, and flavor is just, just the versatility, the, the diversity, just to be able to try and actually, not even if you succeed at the highest level, just that you're respectable in that. Yeah. <laughs> that gave me an so idea. That's, that's kind of what a, it is. Another marketing thing that we can we can run. Just, just off of flavor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The mind. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, we gonna talk off air. We don't need all y'all getting okay, into yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Need all so, y'all. So y'all be ready when when when, they, when things pop up. And like, oh, that must have been what they was talking about. Yeah, that yeah. is what we were talking about. That's exactly all, what we're talking online. About. Now these gonna be some surprises. Yeah, it's just it's seasoning. Everything's being seasoned right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't we're, be surprised when that, when that entree comes up and you hit with a hot plate and it's like, damn, this is good. This is good right here. This is what we go do. We go take one last break, and then when we come back, we're gonna play a very short game of Never Have You Ever. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what that's what we gonna do. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Okay. I think I think that's gonna be fun and exciting. All right, now um, a word from our sponsors. Social media marketing is vital to every creator, but. It takes time to properly promote to gain a big fan base. And you want to focus on your art, whether it's recording, podcasting, or even photography. How could you successfully put in the time to promote when you're using that time to create? Well, we have the answers to your dilemma. Let Team Ninth Wonder work your promo campaign for you. Our team of social media marketers are ready to take on all your tedious, dirty work. For the duration of your campaign, our team will send individual DMs and email blasts, post content each day in our stories on social media, share your content through all platforms. 100% 100% guaranteed you will see an organic increase in your following, likes, views, and streams. Let us guarantee your success through our radio, magazine, and TV promotional campaigns. We also create a step-by-step strategy for you to follow to further your success of the campaign. It's a win-win situation. This also puts you in position to receive real bonuses, live stream badges, YouTube monetizations, brand ambassador opportunities, and even concert bookings. Get the bag. Contact us today. Ninth Wonder Music and Entertainment. Bob killing them beats, boy. Killing them beats. The boy I'm telling person. Me Bob too, like, oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> right, so here we go. We, we back. Welcome to the dope bar. Y'all know what time it is. We got flavor hype in the building, and we're getting ready to play a game called "Never Have You Ever." Now, I'm pretty sure you understand the the rules of the game. Normally, it's you know, you know, it's never have I ever, but this is the way we're gonna do it. Since mm-hmm. you know, the track is never you ever. You feel me? 
you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be the one okay, to yeah. say uh, never have you ever, and then you got to answer. So it's pretty much the same rules as never have ever, but you know, we. Okay. I'm going to be like, all right, never have you ever, bam, and then you you go ahead and 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 just say what it whatever it is, wildest thing, uh, it don't matter what it is. So whatever come to mind. So let's get it. Never have uh, you ever. Right. Never have you ever. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, have sex while driving the car. <laughs> it, it, <It's>... <laughs> <laughs> We got that in car. I mean, well, that's great. What? I, I, actually, I have. So, I'm, uh, <laughs> you lying bastard. <laughs> oh, my Your goodness. Turn. Your turn to ask me. Let's uh, get it. Oh, um, oof. Okay. So, never have you ever. Had sex for money. Yeah, not a prostitute, ladies and gentlemen. Not me. Not a gigolo. Uh, uh. Nope. It was always free. No, no, no. (laughs) I mean, I don't think you would have turned down the money, but if I (laughs) wouldn't, of course not. I I would have took it. I'm just saying this never happened, so you know. It wasn't a transaction. It was a a tip. If you <laughs> no, 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 no. It, 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 no cap. It was it was offered before. I'm not going to say um, the girl's name. Um, I just know the nickname yeah, I have no, for no. the nickname I have for is ignorant knees. And then you know the, my homies who know y'all know. Um, but yeah, it was situations where it's just the person just don't get it. No matter what we uh, like, we had like an an online type of friendship like one in the friendship the just person was just always commented on videos pretty much a fan and you know we did okay. this thing where this when my space was popping me and my boy uh mecca Ooh. shout out to, the, shout out to the boy mecca we did this so we're like all right whoever get something they can get a video type chat with or not a video chat video chat went popping in it was a phone call pretty much so long story uh-huh. short, called on three way, had the call. She was obsessed ever since and was like, oh, I'm going to date you, this, that, blah. We finally end up meeting in person. We're at the movies, met in person. And I'm okay. like, uh, uh, I'm like, Lord, have mercy. It's it's worse than I expected it to be. You know, sometimes you see people and it's not as it's, it just mm, and was like, oh, wanted to do this, wanted to do that. And I'm like, and even though at the time I was single, I'm like, no, look, I got a girl, da 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 da, blah, 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 blah. Oh. So I said, I'll <laughs> pay you. At first it was $50, and then it turned $100. I still turned it down. There, there's certain certain things money wasn't going to be able to do because had I got paid, I would have needed to use the bread for therapy. So I was like, nah, I'm straight. You, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, God don't make mistakes when he makes his kids. I'm just saying that Damn. she looked like she easily could have played in wrong turn or the heels have eyes and wouldn't have needed makeup. That's all I'm saying. It, but, you know, that's all I'm saying. But, but, you know, everybody is beautiful in their own way. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. <laughs> well, well, well at, at, at that point, you had flavor hype, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't need no makeup. Oh my goodness, she, she was a walking yeah. episode of the Walking Dead yeah. off the rip. Yep, uh, yeah, um, we're getting canceled. This this is gonna be the last episode, ladies and gentlemen. Canceled after this. So. <laughs> oh wait, I have okay, my so own. I, I got one. I, I got my one. own network. Can't get canceled. Let's go. Okay, never have you ever. Canceled. Never have you ever written a diss track about a famous rapper. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, if this was uh, the game where you had to drink afterward, I'd be drinking. I've I've done it. I've read a, yeah, yeah, I've written this track on for, for the famous rapper. And what's crazy is I don't feel that way about that about said rapper now. At the time, I did, okay. and then I, I was on that heavy I was on that heavy anti Illuminati kick at the time. 
I've had some mm-hmm. run-ins. Okay. I've I've had some real deal run-ins and I took it personal. And you know, I got I was very mm-hmm. vigilant. I'm talking about songs, saying names. I didn't I didn't care, didn't give. I was like, I wanted I wanted to smoke until I actually Wait, got was a, it just one? Oh no, no, it was it was a couple, but then I actually got a little bit of smoke that bit. I got I got checked. And um, uh, I ain't explaining that on air. As soon as we get off, I, t- I can tell you about that. Um, but yeah, I got okay. checked, and I was like, "Nah, I'm good." You know, y'all know why I, y'all know why I stand, though. You know, but I'm, I don't want no smoke. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I ain't trying to be no okay. martyr. Okay. You feel me? But yeah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, I definitely have. All right. Um, uh, me, so yeah, yeah. That, that's that's about it. Um, and then never have I ever what I have, I guess I have to have one more. Um uh hmm. Oh, I got one. I got one. I already say never have you ever say it, bust it down. Mm-hmm. You gotta say never have you ever, and then I respond. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never have you ever. Not vibe the flavor hype. <laughs> Come on, yeah, man. Come on, man. The, the music too fire. Yo, so I'd be lying. You feel me? I'd be lying. Hey. I'd be lying. I appreciate that, man. That's okay. Look. Oh, I already know. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know, know what it is, man. We got flavor hype in the freaking building. Oh, I appreciate y'all, out. man. We out this piece. First off, I'm not your average nigga, bro. I heard the beat of pencil grab me and said, here we go. I was with it as soon as I heard the strings in it. Johnny Storm lit it up, but waited until the pain hit it. Sue Storm made the beat, got a fantastic engine in it. Had to take a bow, because I wanted to grab the guy again. You ain't really ready for the way we about to flex. We giving it to you now, so I ain't a need to talk to